Hello guys, 99 overall here and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different as you guys know if you guys watch RBT or Mike Mac or anything. Uh, they do videos like uh, ranking players, uh, I don't know, stuff like that. Just talking about players, favorite players, favorite uniforms, stuff like that. So I'm going to try to do the same thing and uh, rank some coaches, uh, my favorite coaches. Uh, see if you guys do like this. If you guys want to see some more videos like this, please do leave a like, comment down below on which uh, category I should do next. So let's get right into it. Now if I do say your coach and if I don't like him, then uh, I guess you're going to be pretty triggered. You're probably going to be like this. Like that, you're probably going to have a stroke, right? Yeah, I don't know. But the way I'm going to be grading these is uh, basically 1 through 10. 1 being like the I hate the coach and 10 being I love the coach. Ah, uh, favorite coach, whatever. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. Since no one commented on uh, the last videos or anything, uh, notification shout out goes to this person here. If you guys do want a notification shout out, all you gotta do is turn on notifications, uh, just like uh, here, this part over here, uh, and then just comment down below that you turn on notifications, and then you'll get a shout out from me. You're getting a free shout out, so. Go, go comment. All right, so the first coach we are starting off with is Andy Reid. Now, uh, I don't know much about him, though. I mean, he does coach the Chiefs, obviously, but uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, he, he's okay with the Chiefs. I mean, they, play, they made the playoffs this year, or last year, or whatever, but I, I rate him probably a 7. He's pretty average, or just above average. Next, we got Sean McVay. I actually kind of like this guy uh, as a head coach. I mean, he did lose to my Vikings last year, but uh, what he's been doing this offseason, signing Sue, Cooks, uh, freaking Peters, and Khalid, man, they're going to have a loaded roster this year. So I'm going to rate Sean McVay out of 10, probably a nine because he's not my favorite coach i mean i like him but he's not my favorite next we got the buccaneers coach uh dirk coder i don't i didn't even know this guy was the buccaneers coach i thought it was lovey smith he must have got fired or something but the buccaneers coach he made some moves this offseason uh that that went, went in the right direction uh defensively especially on the d-line but i'm gonna rank him probably a five uh, just because, I don't know, I don't know much about him, actually. He looks like a college coach. Next, we got Bill O'Brien uh, for the Houston Texans. He's okay. He has an average team. I mean, the, their best player is probably J.J. Watt, and uh, next to be Deshaun Watson. Uh, I'm going to rank uh, Bill O'Brien probably, probably, I don't know. I mean, I like the Texans. I like what they do. Probably a six. I'll, I'll rate Bill O'Brien a six. Next, we got Todd Bowles for the New York Jets. Uh, I don't know if he'll ever be fired. I don't know if the Jets do horrible this year. I don't know. I kind of want them to do good because, you know, it's a bridge line. He left the Vikings for the Jets. I don't know. Now he's wearing number two for the Jets. Like, all of this is wrong. But Todd Bowles, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really like him. I'm not being racist, so stop thinking that. So, I'm going to probably rate him a six. Uh, got an average team. I mean, I somewhat like the Jets. I mean, I don't care for him, but it's whatever. Next, we got Doug Marone for the Jaguars. He's doing some right things with the Jags. I mean, they got one of the best defenses in the league behind the Vikings and Eagles and Rams. And I don't know. Uh, they're, they're top five, maybe even top three uh, for this year. Uh, hopefully they repeat as last year, uh, but yeah, uh, Doug Marone, I think I'm going to have to rate you a 8. I mean, you're, you're pretty good. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie, you're a good coach. Next for the Oakland Raiders, we got John Gruden. Uh, I really liked him as a, a, a broadcaster. Uh, I think I'm going to like him as a coach too, so I'm going to rate him a 9 uh, because he, I, I, I actually really like him. I don't think he's annoying or anything. He, he seems like a really cool guy. Jay Gruden for the Washington Redskins. Oh boy. He, I don't know. He, he's okay with the Redskins. They make, he, he's on our average team. So I'm going to rate him probably a seven. John Fox for the Chicago Bears. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like him. He, he's an awful coach to be honest. But what the moves they made this season, uh, I guess I'll bump him up. I'll, I'll, I'll put him at a five. Doug Peterson for the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, 
don't don't write 38 to uh, 7. I was about to say 30. It's not the Falcons 28 to 3, but 38 to 7. I don't care about that, honestly. I mean, it's kind of in the past. But uh, Doug Peterson, I actually do like him. I like his scheme and stuff like that, what he does with the team. Uh, he has that hungry mentality. Uh, I'll probably rate him as an 8. Mike McCarthy for the Green Bay Packers. I mean, to be honest, let's be honest here. Mike McCarthy looks like a Wisconsin man. I mean, if you think about a Wisconsin man on a farm and stuff like that, that's Mike McCarthy, right? So I'm going to rate Mike McCarthy probably probably a 7. I mean, he, he does coach the Packers. I mean, some years it's like fire him and then give him a contract extension, right? Ron Revere for the Carolina Panthers. I don't know. I, I don't really like his appearance, to be honest. But, I don't know. I'll, I, I'll rate him probably a 7. I mean, he, he's okay for a coach. Chuck Pagano uh, for the Colts. He's, he's going to be fired soon. I don't really like him. I'm going to rate him a 4. He's the lowest coach so far. Surprisingly, it's not the Packers coach. But, yeah, Chuck Pagano, you're a 4. Pete Carroll for the Seattle Seahawks. Um... I don't know what to do with that. He's, he's okay. He's a good coach. He's falling off, though, especially what they're doing this season, losing Richard Sherman and pretty much the whole defense. But I'm going to rate him a 7, a pretty above average coach. Sean Payton for the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Car- Karma comes back to bite you, doesn't it? He did the skull chant at US Bank Stadium when uh, they thought they had the lead, especially 10 seconds left. Uh, but I don't know, especially in 2009, uh, when we one game away from the Super Bowl, Saints cheated. The they, bounty hunt, I mean, Sean Payton, he's on a uh, bad list. My bad list. He's probably a five. John Hardbaugh for the Ravens? I, I don't know. I don't really like him, so he's probably going to be a six. Or even a five. Pat Shermer for the New York Giants? I, 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 I guess I like him. I guess he's a former offensive coordinator for the Vikings. He did awesome. I think the Giants are going to do all right. Um, so, Pat Shermer, you're going to get a freaking, like, eight because you were from the Vikings. Mike Tomlin from the Pittsburgh Steelers. As you guys didn't know, the Steelers are my second favorite team. Uh, so, I like it. You're going to be a number nine, uh, Mr. Mike Tomlin. Bruce Arians, the Arizona Cardinals. I'm pretty sure he's going to retire after this season. Uh, I mean, I do like him. I don't really pay attention to the Cardinals or coaches or anything like that. So, I'm going to put him at a seven. Bill Belichick for the New England Patriots. Patriots are like the juggernaut the last, I don't know, like 10 seasons. Well, not really juggernaut, but they've been really, really good. Uh, so they're, I think they're actually kind of falling off, to be honest. I mean, everybody can agree with that. But Bill Belichick, you're probably going to be a 9 because he's coaching one of the best teams ever with the best quarterback in the NFL. Pat Patricia for the Lions. I, I like him. I like his beard. He's probably going to be an 8. Hugh Jackson for the Browns. Browns are like one of the worst teams ever, to be honest. I mean, in sports, too. So, I don't know. Your coaching your coaching is off the field. Uh, so, I'm going to put you at a 5. Dan Quinn for the Falcons. He's, he looks like a tough coach. Like, you want to play for him, don't you? Or he looks like he'd give you some sass, too. So, I'm going to put him at an 8. Marvin Lewis for the Bengals. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like him. He should be fired, to be honest. Bengals haven't been in the playoffs forever. I mean, they've always lost them, too. Uh, so, I'm going to give you a probably, I don't know. I kind of like the Bengals, but not really. Just the uniforms. But I'm going to give you a five. Sean McDermott for the Bills. I don't even know, folks. Like, Sean here. He, he's okay for the Bills. I mean, I, I don't know what they're really doing this offseason. Who knows? I'm going to put you at probably a 5 because I don't know much about you. You're pretty average. Uh, and I don't know. You're, you're weird. Jason Garrett for the Cowboys. I, I don't know. I, I kind of like the Cowboys. America's team, you know. Got to wrap them. I don't know. But Jason Garrett, I like you. But I'm going to put you at probably a 7. Mike Zimmer for the Vikings. I'm gonna put you at I don't I don't even know. Just kidding. I know it's at a ten because he's my coach. He's a good coach. 
should have won coach of the year, but it's Sean McVay. He deserves it, I guess. But let, let's go Mike Zimmer. Mike Vrabel for the Titans. I think he's new, actually. Uh, I don't. I like the Titans moves this offseason, so I'm going to put him at a 7. Adam Gase for the Dolphins. Uh, Dolphins are pretty average, so I'm going to put him at a 6. I mean, Dolphins new uniforms, though. Have you seen those? Those are fire. Fire in the Vance Joseph for the Broncos. Broncos are pretty average. They got, I don't know, Case Keenum now. Defense is, I don't know, okay. But, I don't know. I'm going to give you a probably 6. Anthony Lynn for the Chargers. Chargers started off hot. They got cold. Then they got hot again. They're pretty average, or above average a little bit. So I'm going to put him at a 7 for Anthony Lynn. He, he's got to get coaching under his belt. I mean, he's been a couple years now, I guess. I don't know how long he's been a coach of the Chargers, but he's doing all right. For the 49ers, Kyle Shanahan. I like what the 49ers are doing, so I'm going to give him an 8. Uh, he's got Jimmy G. Oh, I think they're going to get Des Bryant, too. Who knows? So that's my list for NFL coaches. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment down below. And uh, yeah, let me know your suggestions for future videos uh, like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. And remember, be your best.